I'm a bit of an oddball in that I've uh, worked across a wide range of fields. I started off with the forest service as a forester trainee. Uh, when I finished that degree I was posted up to Rotorua to work on the effects of logging on native birds on Kōkaka and Periora mostly. And then when I finished that three year project I moved to the Forest Research Institute in Rotorua where I was studying New Zealand's uh, national scale uh, forest pattern. I worked on that for about 20 years and ended up developing a national classification of New Zealand which we published as the Land Environments of New Zealand. At the end of that process I was looking for new challenges and uh, took up a position at NIWA. In fact the, the tools and the approaches that I've developed with forests, probably about 70% of that was transferable into aquatic environments. And so I started again looking at the major factors driving the distribution, uh, particularly of native freshwater fish. And the, the curious thing I found was that the whole interplay of disturbance and environment that I saw played out in the forest was also repeated in the distributions of our uh, freshwater fish species. Uh, from there I took that work further on and uh, began to do contract work for the Department of Conservation and uh, working with the Department of Conservation we developed a whole systematic approach to assessment of the biodiversity and conservation value of rivers and streams throughout New Zealand. When it comes to the application of it, we at DOC we realised in doing this work that there was a lot of interest from other agencies. Uh, the Department of Conservation is only one player in the freshwater realm and there are other central and regional government agencies that have a a much more hands-on approach, particularly in the lowlands. Um, we could not see a systematic approach being taken to the storage and delivery of freshwater data to those end users. And we ended up pulling together a whole DVD of, of data that we describe as, as fens or freshwater environments in New Zealand that covers rivers, lakes and wetlands, describes their environmental and biological characteristics, estimates human impacts on them and gives an indication of their conservation value. One of the things that stands out most clearly is the huge imbalance and protection of the biodiversity values of our different types of rivers and streams. Uh, it is really encouraging to see the way in which local communities are picking up on and recognising the need to protect representative examples of some of those lowland rivers and streams and in many cases are doing a fantastic job in restoring them and uh, mitigating the, the most severe effects of land use intensification and ensuring that good examples of some of those loading streams are being kept in good condition.